Go, 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 Bill, go! Bill, go, go, go! No! Stop. Okay. You okay, Bill? Good. Did well. Thank you. Very good. Little bit of sense of uh, fear inside, no? Fear is good. Yeah, fear is good. You're right. Fear is a great component in this test. Use your war cry. Ah! You get after him. Butt him in the face. Hit him in the shoulder. Any way you can to win. And then you shoot him dead and keep going. It's a war zone, baby. Then it was my turn. Just let your instincts uh, rule you. Okay, Matkilim, Ikon Kulam. Yatsim la derech. Jason, something happened there. Go. Left to right now. This is about as different from my MMA background as I can get. Go, 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 Jason! It's not about feeling out the other guy or planning a strategy. It's about guts and instinct. About reaction time and commitment. And violence. Go, go, go! Shoot him! And it is true. Your natural reactions will take over. If you just let it and trust in the training, man, I'm really winded. That was just like a block. And this is nothing compared to what we could be facing at the top secret commando base where we'll meet our final challenge. To prepare, we're heading deep into the burning sands of the Judean desert to the ancient fortress of Masada. There, we'll train with a Krav Maga guru a man who'll teach us the ultimate skills we'll need to survive. Our exploration of the Israeli martial art of Krav Maga has brought us 150 miles from Tel Aviv to the ancient fortress city of Masada. Standing nearly 1,500 feet above the Dead Sea, this hilltop complex was home to one of the country's most legendary battles. We've come here to immerse ourselves in Krav Maga. Here, we're going to experience this Israeli martial art in its most extreme form, as a real-world killing art. The man who'll teach us is one of Israel's legendary fighters, Dennis Hanner. After his whole family was slaughtered by Nazis, Dennis dedicated his life to Krav Maga and to ensuring that Jews could protect themselves. Good, good. We're just having a bit of training here. Man, you guys picked a great spot to train in underneath the hot sun. This is some realistic combat. This is called survival. It's not in the gym. This is nature. This yeah. is what this place is all about, Matsana. Originally built by the Romans, the fortress was invaded and occupied by a few hundred rebel Jewish fighters in 72 AD. To take it back, 8,000 Roman soldiers besieged the fortress but couldn't defeat the occupiers. Outnumbered 10 to 1, the Jews fought for three months until finally the water ran out. The Jews refused to be captured alive, but because the Jewish religion forbids suicide, the defenders killed each other one by one until the last remaining fighter committed the sin and turned his sword on himself. For Dennis and his crew, Masada isn't ancient history. It's part of their everyday reality. Many of Dennis's students go on to join Israel's elite special forces units where Krav Maga becomes just another tool in their deadly arsenal. If you're close to a person, it's already finished because I've already killed him. I can take him what I want. Look, I could kill him how I want. It's a like pressure point. No eyes. Each of these strikes is aimed for a vital point. It could be gouging the eyes or driving the bones of the nose back into the sinuses or crushing the soft tissue of the throat. Every one of these shots could kill. And that's the idea. For Dennis, Krav Maga isn't about sport. It's life and death. Hey! The whole idea now is the circle. There's the circle. With the same knife, I can kill him. And it's that kind of focus that we need for our final challenge. This way. Why this way? I can take him to do, kill himself. Just so you know, this thing is so sharp, and to see it get wielded around, and they train with these. These aren't rubber knives, these aren't plastic knives. This thing is as sharp of a knife as it comes. The Judean desert has been barren for centuries. 
With just two inches of rain a year, there's not much that can survive out here. Which makes Dennis's desert camp a very tough place to train. Our training began with an exercise designed to prepare us for facing multiple attackers. Never stop moving. Change direction. Don't close, keep yourself close. Change direction, keep your defense. Change direction. Faster, faster, you gotta be quick. But when you do see your opportunity, it's time to strike. Everything Dennis does is geared towards using your body as a weapon. This is the sword. I gotta knock you at one point. The killing techniques is what I say. I'll go straight to the throat. I'll go straight to the side, straight to the eye. These techniques aren't for use in MMA. They're designed for combat. All attacks are aimed at vulnerable targets. You can break his leg by this kick. If any of these blows land properly, your opponent won't just be down. He'll likely be dead. Right, now go in a circle. Three heights. Now move around. Move. Punch. All sides. I'm faster. Now to the top of the head. Okay. To the side. Finally, after a tough day of training, the sun began to go down. With no clouds to hold the heat, the temperature plummeted to just a few degrees above freezing. As night fell, we gathered around a fire near the camp to stay warm. Well, I want to explain you fellas something. Krav Maga is a way of life. You're going to be prepared to fight, and we're going to learn the spirit to fight and never to give up. Tomorrow we're really going into action. We're going to fight one man, you're going to fight two men, you're going to fight three men. You're going to feel the punches, you're going to give punches. Looks like our training had just begun. Power punching and kicking, hey! Right? Strong! Yes! Always circle. Quick! Always circle. Today, the fighting got even more intense. Faster, faster, faster! It doesn't matter if it's 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. When this sun is out, it's 100 degrees. It's intense. If this doesn't get us ready for our final challenge, nothing is going to. Hala, start punching the body. Work, work. Kicking, punching, low necks. Hit, punch, go in the circle, go. With our bodies and minds conditioned to the punishment of the training, Dennis decided we were ready to face a final test. And of course, it wasn't going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And the stakes were even higher because one end of our training ground ended in a 300-foot cliff. One wrong move and we weren't just beat up, we were dead. All right, are you ready? Yes. Attempt start. Keep. This was the perfect workout. It kept us focused on the big picture. Not just the guy in front of us, but the whole battlefield. To take on multiple opponents, we'd need to be able to think beyond single techniques and integrate everything into a total combat package. You see, you kept on the circle, and I didn't gain one punch. Good. Well, because his strength, he can come and catch you and hold you. But against the knife or against the fighting techniques of two or three, it's not good enough. Jason is small, but being small, you've got to be quick and you've got to be clever because you can't let a big customer catch you. 